Okay. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the podcast. I am your host, Corey C., former iConsensus ambassador and team member of Ergo. I am the content writer for Ergo. I write articles specifying the intricacies of Ergo regarding their partnerships, regarding the overall aspects of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, not uh, <clears throat> including Ergo, including Bitcoin, including Ethereum. And I'm also a team member of a ecosystem called Katena. That's you can follow us on Twitter called Welcome Katena, or you can see our forums Katena dot one. That's C A T E N A <clears throat> dot O N E, where we post numerous different posts about cryptocurrency news, about altcoins such as Ergo. We have numerous different articles and videos that we have found on Ergo as seed content, and we also talk about trading strategies. Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I also have a YouTube channel called Corey C. Katana Crypto Coins, where I once a week or once every <clears throat> or once or twice a week, where I observe and I outline a specific cryptocurrency that I see has potential. So today I'm going to be doing an AMA with Jay Shin and one of Ergo and Blocko. So it's a privilege to be here with both of you. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to having this AMA give the Ergo community intricate ideas and, in, and an intricate vision of what's going on in Ergo. Thanks, Corey, for having us on. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we've actually uh, spoken live or on a video to the community. and. Uh, we thought it, it might be appropriate now to do so. We've been um, in the Telegram channels, on Twitter, uh, talking about Ergo's progress. Uh, but today, uh, myself, Jay Shen, I'm the uh, Chief Marketing Officer, uh, and I have with us, uh, one, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, I think many of you remember me as well. Uh, my name is Juan, Juan Kim. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of Blocker, but uh, I'm also one of the chief visionaries behind um, Argo as well. And um, I'm, I'm happy that we have uh, this opportunity to um, share things. Absolutely. So I'm looking to learn about the intricacies of Ergo through community-driven questions. I think it's very important for any blockchain project to always consider the opinions, thoughts, concerns, and views of a project in association to how the community wants to, uh, in regards to the community of that project. Because with any project, without the community, there, there, it's a very far and through between prospect of that project actually succeeding. And that's just in any any avenue of ecosystem. It doesn't matter if it's cryptocurrency. Doesn't matter if it's in traditional markets. Doesn't matter. If you have a community and a backing, that's what's important. So I want to start off the AMA with QPU updates. So I know that that has been a question in the Ergo community. So do you want to discuss that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so, you know, firstly, I, I need to apologize to the community that, you know, we haven't been um, uh, releasing the QPU on time. Uh, we've been working very hard on various projects um, and we've been actually trying to create a dashboard that will give the community a real-time view of our token economics as well as our status of what's going on uh, on our website. So that's our lofty goal. But in between that, we've had some um, uh, great projects come up, some uh, things that really took our uh, time away from creating this dashboard. Um, today, we announced that uh, Zangle or Cross Angle um, announced their um, uh, evaluation of the Ergo project. We received an A minus, um, which is pretty on par with a lot of other larger projects than Ergo. Um, and by the way, we've also uh, been involved with Pickle, which is the uh, blockchain uh, voting uh, solution that Blocko XYZ has out there, as well as CCCV with their NFT initiatives that we've done, uh, they've done so many um, co-op uh, partnerships with um, the National Treasure Museums of Korea, as well as um, arts from various cultural, as well as modern art. They actually had a gallery opening as well. 
Um, so it's been it's been a heck of a 2021 roller coaster ride for us, and uh, we will definitely get the uh, the dashboard up and uh, so that the community uh, is aware. But I've been trying to get into the community uh, on the Telegram and, and to update any questions they have, and I will be doing that. I think every Friday that I've actually slotted the time for. That's great, and, and you know what I you know what I truly appreciated what Ergo is doing, not only democratizing blockchain, which is really what blockchain is all about, democratizing knowledge, democratizing the ability for individuals to vote, to participate. But I also appreciate what Ergo is doing regarding enterprise adoption and, and the preservation of the cultural integrity and cultural history of Korea. I, I'm noticing that that's an ethos in the Ergo community and not only the Ergo community, but the Ergo project as well. And I appreciate that. And I've also written articles about that, how Ergo is involved with the Korean Broadcasting Agency basically to preserve television that has existed, television shows that has existed in Korea for half a century. And I'm very excited about that. So one, do you want to copy? I mean, do you want to comment on that? The QP, the key, excuse me, the QPU update? Yeah, so our goal is to bring more um, real-time, transparent um, interface into their inner workings and their um, status of their uh, ecosystem and um, project. Uh, I mean, I mean, QPU has been one of our um, early attempts to um, put that in a form that people can read and share. But uh, we we just feel that it's not really um, good enough and uh, we're trying to bring this um, forward and their um, um, partnership with the external uh, parties like um, uh, cross anger and their uh, real-time dashboard that um, Jay Shin just mentioned uh, will be part of our effort to um, uh, bring that forward and uh, um, we expect you guys to enjoy it more and, uh, um, please help us uh, uh, bring this forward Absolutely. And, and Jay, I know you said, uh, I, I saw this tweet, um, you said the A minus, would you be able to specify some of those, pro those bigger projects? I believe that you posted something about being on par with QDOM. What other pro uh, projects did you post on your Twitter? Uh, I believe, you know, one of them was Metal MTL, uh, as well as Doge. Uh, I'm not sure whether, you know, we would compare with Doge popularity, of but course. I know that uh, you know, we've, we are a specific um, enterprise uh, blockchain that we are doing a lot of behind the scenes backend integration with a lot of uh, corporations out there. So, you know, I think we're, we're very proud of where we are. Um, I think, you know, one of the things that I wanted to add to that is that, you know, we are still um, auditing our 2020 um, financial report. And once that is submitted to uh, Cross Angle, um, that, you know, we're hoping that we can raise the uh, the grade. Um, I think that was the only weak spot we had, which was the uh, financial uh, aspect of it. And I think, um, you know, 2019 and, you know, 2020, we've improved a lot and we've, we're continuing to improve this year as well. So it should be, um, you know, something to look forward to. Absolutely. And, and I appreciate that transparency 100% about the financial report. So there's a question you're starting to see a lot of people, not just in Ergo, but in different cryptocurrency communities that are starting to be focused on deflationary models of cryptocurrency token economics. And I was wondering, and I think the community was also, community is very focused on this question as well. Is there an Ergo burn on the main net regarding transaction fees? Yeah, so I'm going to... Um Pick that up. So um, as the uh, number of transactions um, are increasing um, you know, day after day, I think many people must be wondering um, if there, there's a, such an opportunity for further enhancing other uh, token economics through um, uh, their burn mother. Um, it's not something that uh, we um, had in mind when we initially designed or, um, talk on economics, uh, and their, uh, as a result, it's, it's not part of their um, system. Uh, so at the moment, their answer is no. But uh, 
it's something that we can actually um, look into um, in the future. And uh, uh, it's, 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 it's likely to be um, a decision um, made um, collectively uh, uh, by the um, BPs and their um, community as well. So if their community desires, uh, it's definitely something that um, can happen. But uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to highlight that uh, it's not something that can be done um, easily because uh, it requires uh, a protocol level um, changes and enhancements into our um, project to uh, make it happen in a uh, sensible way. Of course. Jay, do you want to add to that? No, that's, he... no okay. that's fine. I mean, my short ask was going to be no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so here's another question about the payment of transaction fees. So who exactly pays the transaction fees of Pickle and CCCV transactions on the mainnet? Would you be able to go into detail regarding that? So Jay or Juan, whoever you whoever would like to take that question. Um, go ahead, Juan. Yeah. So, um, so you, you guys must remember a number of um, uh, a series of um, community votes on um, supporting um, those the apps on Argo ecosystem, and there, um, uh, basically um, those um, grants constitute um, the majority of their um, other costs and their um, um, resources um, required to those um, uh, the apps. Um, running on the mainnet, so um, they, they have been uh, boot, bootstrapping uh, mainly uh, from those grants. Um, but their um, their goal is as their critical mass adoption is reached, we expect those um, the apps to be self-sustained and self-reliant through their um, business models. Um, so. Um, they will eventually run out of their um, existing um, grant and their um, program to um, develop and run um, those um, the apps. And um, they, they, they instead um, various um, different sources of uh, um, income um, will constitute and support uh, those transactions. But uh, it's something that dependent on uh, mass adoption. So uh, we, we, we are heading there. But, uh, but uh, the short answer is that um, they, they have been running uh, based on um, earlier grants that uh, we offered through the community. Right. Okay. You know, we um, <clears throat> did the uh, initial Agora voting for these two projects that for us to incubate. Um, and the community unanimously voted to, to support that. And I think it's important for us as, as the platform provider to really um, stimulate the market and developers to come up with these compelling solutions. And, you know, Pickle being the first blockchain um, e-voting platform, uh, we really wanted to give them the opportunity to go out there and really, you know, put the best solution on the market without really worrying about what the fees will be for now, right? Um, I think, you know, exactly. we've really proven that. I think we'll, we'll have a report out very shortly that, you know, the, the latest, um, uh, the, 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 uh, the Korea Drama Awards, um, over 8 million votes were casted. You know, and there have been uh, over, oh. I believe, 320,000 download and installation of the apps um, globally. So, you know, this is a very, um, you know, we're, I'm very surprised uh, by the, uh, the number of people that are, you know, accepted this. And, you know, at the end of the day, the, the person who's actually downloading and using the app doesn't really know that there's, there's a blockchain behind it. Um, I think exactly. you know, the Block XYZ team ha uh, did a great job of creating a great user interface to make it easy for them to vote for their favorite stars, favorite shows. And, and this is what we need in, the, in, in our world right now, right? Um, we want to create uh, solutions that delight the customers so that the customers are using this on an everyday basis. Um, you know, we do do a lot of uh, support to a lot of big corporations like Hyundai, Kia, and Samsung, but uh, something like this, where it goes B to B to C, um, it, it will create that mass adoption that we're all looking for in the blockchain industry. Absolutely. And I think it's very important that you highlighted that people don't even know that they're using a blockchain. Uh, I feel that one of the avenues that people, I guess you could say not even avenues, the fear of entering cryptocurrencies, they don't really know 
how to use a blockchain. They don't know how a blockchain operates. They don't know what a blockchain is. So the ability to utilize an application that utilizes a blockchain without even knowing it is, in my opinion, the right way to go to get people into blockchain. Because if you don't realize you're using it, but you're using it, it doesn't become difficult. That fear is kind of washed away because you're not even aware that you're using it. And even if you found out that you were using it, you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's easy. That's very easy to use. So that's that's a great step, in my opinion, that Ergo is doing, that they are, that Ergo is focused on bringing the newcomer in, bringing the individual in that has no background knowledge in blockchain through applications that are built on blockchain. And I and I find that very I find that very fascinating. And there are not many blockchain projects out there that are actually doing that. So, and that's very important to highlight with Ergo. So the next question is about a huge craze that's going on in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space that we are seeing now, even I dare say a trend that is even overshadowing DeFi. We're seeing records constantly broken on OpenSea regarding trading. And what I'm talking about is NFTs. And I know that Ergo is, is very involved in the NFT ecosystem. So regarding this question, I wanted to ask, can community members, can anybody mint NFTs directly on the Argo blockchain and not the CCCV website contract? So I'm curious to hear that. Yeah, so uh, at the moment, CCCV is our main interface into NFT functionalities um, on Argo blockchain, but it doesn't mean that you can write your own smart contract or uh, even um, build um, a user interface on your own. But uh, that it's, it's just that uh, there, there doesn't exist other um, more um, uh, consumer friendlier um, interface into their um, NFT at the moment. Uh, so um, it, it might be one of their future um, projects that we might incubate or um, enhance further. But uh, we think um, um, as their NFT is hugely dependent on, on their um, sales ca capability and their business model as well, um, it's, it's actually very sensitive to um, enable that through um, CCCV at the moment, but uh, it doesn't mean that it has to stay um, that way. It's so just the first of the uh, many to come, and um, uh, we will work with their community and their partners partners to um, actually build up on that. Yeah, from a platform perspective, we have the RC2 protocol um, done in an open, right? So, you know, we have the platform, we provide the platform, and the solution partner would need to create that infrastructure in order to, or the, or the user interface in order for people to mint it. So if there's someone out there that's listening to this um, uh, AMA right now, please DM me. And if you can do it, um, I will incubate you. You heard it here first, everybody. So please, if you, if you do, please message Jay, please do. So regarding the real-time dashboard. Do we have any updates on the real-time dashboard? So what, what would you say is, is major updates on the real-time dashboard? Yeah, I mean, we, we want to make it so that we're not spending so much time writing a 30-page report of things we've been reporting constantly every, you know, it's kind of summary, right? So we found ourselves, you know, spending a good amount of time writing the QPUs as we did before. Um, but, you know, we wanted to make it so that, you know, we can actually have a dashboard that has real-time information updating every day. And I think that that's important for people to look at our project. And I know I see the questions in, in community asking, what is Ergo? How is Ergo doing? What is this? What is that? And we just want to make it so that they can just reference, our community managers can reference the dashboard and they can go to the dashboard and literally see things update in real time. So, you know, that is forthcoming. Uh, we, we have people working on it right now. Um, and uh, that's all I can say for now. <laughs> Sorry that it's taking a while. No, oh, no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. I appreciate the transparency. I'm sure the community does as well. So let's talk about the Argo Hub. So can you give us an update on the Argo Hub, specifically like progress updates and launch dates? Yeah, so um, Argo Hub has been our um, early effort to bring 
more mainstream uh, use case into um, their, for our mainnet and our um, ecosystem. Um, and there, it has been, uh, and uh, it's, 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 it's actually um, a part of our earlier vision to um, target uh, more um, developers um, and their um, uh, cloud um, based um, um, consumers as well. But uh, um, we actually decided to uh, pivot um, those ideas and their um, actually um, enhance the hub into a more uh, of a marketplace uh, where um, things more than uh, just a computing power can be traded um, and they um, integrate actually um, their NFTs and their um, whole DeFi um, concept um, into their um, project. So we'll be uh, making uh, an announcement about their new pivoted uh, marketplace uh, on Argo. Um, Soon. Um, and their, um, their, their idea is that uh, we are now focusing uh, on um, more than just um, development um, experience. Um, and our, uh, we expect um, digital goods uh, such as NFTs and their um, uh, more um, complex um, crypto uh, known as DeFi uh, to be integrated um, into their project as well. Okay. All right. Interesting. Jay, do you want to add on to that? Uh, yeah. I mean, we just, yeah, I think the pivot was, was necessary because I think the way that the original idea of Ergo Hub was, um, was to create a developer's platform, but you know, that is a very saturated and, and, and very competitive market with no margins. Right. You know, um, I think, you know, pivoting to a marketplace where we're actually supporting developers and the, and the various staffs, I think that was the right way to go. And we saw that with Pickle, Crispy Whales, with um, CCZV, and uh, among other ones that are, that are out there today, that I think that was the right decision to make. Absolutely. And, and I'm noticing a question here from the community about an individual. So what exactly is up with Phil and E24P? Like what, what, is, what has happened regarding, the, regarding those two entities? Yes, yeah, so um, as, the, as we decided to um, expand globally, E20P, uh, I, I mean e, E24P was our um, venue into the um, um, Middle Eastern market. Um, and there, um, we had some successes there, including um, um, ISDB um, project and there, um, um, an, an opportunity into the whole um, Dubai Expo. Um, uh, thing as well, but uh, the truth is that um, uh, everything stopped last year uh, yeah. after her pandemic situation, mm -hmm. and um, the her Middle Eastern effort um, has been um, stopped, and uh, we decided to reroute those resources um, into our home ground, Korea, and uh, um, build more. Um, um, uh, tangible use cases such as NFTs um, and the, um, DeFi um, that can bring more um, down-to-earth benefits to our um, community. Uh, at the same time, um, um, focus on um, more region or enterprise um, customers as well, where we had, uh, uh, I mean, where we have been very successful um, this year. Um, and uh, as a result, um, um, Pir, Pir Zamani is um, uh, no longer involved in the leadership uh, of the project itself at the moment. And uh, while he's still helping me um, as an aide, uh, as a very experienced and um, seasoned um, enterprise um, guru, um, he's um, now focusing on his family and uh, other businesses. Um, so. Um, um, as a result, um, um, I've been more um, <clears throat> involved um, with the, um, at our management team um, as a chief visionary and their um, uh, collective um, manager for their um, ecosystem program as well. So in many ways, um, I'm, I'm trying to fill 
um, issues and there, um, there are other um, members of our team, including Jay Shin, um, is helping as well. Awesome. So I just want to say that this was a fantastic AMA. I really appreciate the transparency and the answers to these questions that the community that the community wanted. Is there any closing thoughts that you'd like to say specifically? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we thank the community. Um, and we, you know, I we have a really great community and that uh, I, I drop in many times and, and try to get to know people there. It's obviously very difficult, but I, I see that, you know, there are familiar faces that are on there that are constantly supporting us. Um, and, you know, blockchain um, as a whole industry wise, uh, you know, there, there's been some consolidation. There's been a lot of um, uh, what we didn't expect blockchain to be when, when this all started, you know, a few years back or, you know, 2014, 2015. Um, I have uh, calls with Gardner analysts literally every, every month. And we we do briefings and we, we talk about, you know, what's going on. And, and yeah, you know, blockchain is, is not what we thought it was going to be, that it was going to replace every system in the world. Uh, but blockchain does have a place. And it's going to look much different than what we originally thought. And we proved that with Pickle and, and CCCV that, you know, we have um, uh, the integration of blockchain in the back end that really gives it the, uh, the immutable power that only blockchain can do. Um, and and e-voting, uh, time stamping with our DTT alliance uh, that, that we're still developing. Um, we'll have more news on that. And... You know, Ergo, it continues to innovate and continues to come up with new solutions. So I think you, the community will be pleasantly surprised of more announcements that are going to come, uh, especially around DeFi and, and, you know, and we've done a fair share of listing on exchanges and we feel that we've done enough out there, but there are certain targets that I, I, I personally would love to see Ergo on and we're working on that very diligently. Uh, as you know, that it's not as easy as before getting listed on an exchange. Of course. We're, we're following all the regulators, uh, legal requirements, compliance, and a lot of legal things. So there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes that the community may feel like we're moving a little slow, but it, it is what it is, and we're, we're trying to do it the right way. Absolutely. Awan, uh, do you want to say anything before we close here? Yeah. Um, the I think um, I'm really grateful um, for the community for the continued support. Um, and there are many contributions that uh, you guys are making. Um, and uh, we are, um, I just wanted to assure you that we are um, working very hard um, to bring more good news um, into our um, project. And uh, um, I, I, I'm hopeful that uh, we will be able to bring um, some surprise um, um, especially um, into the NFT and the DeFi space where uh, we have been trying to develop um, hard um, this year, uh, later um, uh, this year. Excited to hear about it. Thank you so much for both. Thank you so much for your time, both of you, seriously. This was, I think, a very great AMA that opened a lot of discussion and answered a lot of questions that the community desired. So thank you so much, both of you, Jay and Juan, for your time. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. And, and I'm hoping that we can do this more often. So I agree. Um, yeah, instead of just giving a written uh, questions on, on the monthly, maybe we can do this uh, fairly more, uh, fairly often. And maybe next Absolutely. time we can bring somebody else on board as well. All right. Yeah, definitely. Just let me know. I'm happy to do it. All right. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.